Hello and how's it going everyone? It is Skullzy here with the latest gaming news, rumors, and speculation. And oh do I have quite the rumor for you all today. A rumor that is also supposedly backed up by other evidence as well, and a rumor that I guess I'm somewhat the source of. But I want to be 100% clear from the start here, like I actually was when I first started talking about this. This is 100% a rumor, and it's not confirmed in any way, shape, or form. This isn't even in the same league of my my previous Bethesda and Starfield inside statements or leaks or whatever you want to consider those things. So please consider this a rumor and if you want to do a video on this or type up an article or whatever, don't cherry pick my words for your freaking clickbait. I've already seen a couple articles out there that are completely trash talking about this and making it seem like I'm saying stuff I'm not saying. This is 100% a rumor that I haven't even been able to verify myself yet, but I did hear it from a couple credible sources and there's a reason I'm doing a video on this even though I originally did plan to. So in case you don't already know or for some reason haven't read the title of this video yet, this rumor involves Bethesda potentially opening up a new development studio location, only this studio will stand apart from every other Bethesda location for one very specific and exciting reason. Supposedly this Bethesda studio will focus entirely on remakes and remasters. That means the potential for a Morrowind remaster, an Arx Fatalis remaster, and even Dishonored remasters for example, and potential remakes is a lot more likely now than ever has been before. Now, as far as the source of this rumor, it seems to have popped up somewhat recently and in multiple different places all at once, basically within the last couple of days. And as far as where I heard it, a few people I keep in consistent contact with all basically contacted me within the same day, asking me the same question. They heard about Bethesda potentially opening up a new studio and, of that new studio, potentially focusing on making remakes or remasters. They wanted to know if I heard anything about this and if the rumors were true, and some of these people even confirmed the first first part of this rumor is true that Bethesda is 100% opening up a new dev studio for some reason, but they couldn't confirm the remaster portion of this same rumor. It's also important to note that while these people do indeed work in the gaming industry, they aren't related to one another professionally and work in separate offices and companies and even have different skill sets, so it strikes me odd that they would all hit me up around the same time and ask me this question, and obviously I'm not super important person, man. They didn't just hit me up, I'm just saying I know they hit me up and probably a bunch of other people. I can only talk from my own perspective here, after all. And then I did a little bit more digging and figured out the potential original source of this entire thing, which is a fairly new developer slipped up in some kind of conversation with someone somewhere and mentioned this new dev studio and potentially even the remasters. This happened electronically somewhere, and I guess there's screenshots of this or, or something. I don't know if that's true or not. I've just heard different things from different people, but either way, the fact that several people at once are all basically claiming to hear the same thing and the fact that some of these people can even confirm part of the rumor is true makes me wonder if perhaps there is something to this. To be honest though, since this information didn't come from any of my usual sources, I wasn't even going to do a video on this originally. I was just going to throw up a, a Twitter post and make sure to mention this is indeed a rumor and it's just an interesting rumor that I wanted to share with everyone. However, that Twitter post quickly became my most liked Twitter post ever in my entire history within less than a day. So clearly there is a huge, overwhelming interest in Bethesda remakes and remasters. Also, another interesting but possibly unrelated thing, it recently came to my attention that a company called Artifact is doing an official documentary for Bethesda about the 10th anniversary of Skyrim, and that they are currently sending surveys out regarding this documentary. Now, I cannot confirm that Artifact is indeed doing an official documentary, but I did find a survey online regarding a 10th anniversary Skyrim celebration. I don't think I saw this posted anywhere officially yet, although I could be wrong about that. But regardless, the point here is that there may be more announcements planned alongside this 10th anniversary Skyrim celebration event. Maybe announcements like possible remakes or remasters. After all, Bethesda sure does like to remaster Skyrim once in a while, don't they? And after all, if this rumor is indeed true, when should we expect to hear any official announcements about it anyway? Well, the first and most obvious event could be QuakeCon 2021, which takes place very soon as an all-digital event between August 
19th and August 21st. Although if this rumor is true, I still feel like E3 2022 would be a much better event to drop this announcement at. Seeing how that would be a huge announcement, one that the community would definitely go crazy for judging just by the response to my recent Twitter post alone, and if Bethesda was going to announce a huge amazing announcement like this, they'd want as many eyes on it as possible, that way it would have much more of a positive effect and impact. Also some new evidence popped up according to insider Tyler McVicker that patterns and discoveries seen within recent Bethesda and Xbox job postings and LinkedIn profiles seem to indicate a new studio location opening up as well. I haven't been able to find anything like this myself though, I've been searching Bethesda job postings and LinkedIn profiles and I can't find any evidence like this, that, that doesn't mean Tyler is wrong, that just means I haven't been able to find it yet, but if you remember though, some of the people are already claiming Bethesda is indeed opening up a new studio location. They just can't confirm whether or not this new dev studio will be focusing on remasters. I will say this though, there was a lot of job postings after the Microsoft and Bethesda buyout. Bethesda was obviously expanding a lot, and it's definitely possible a new studio location or even two could have been wrapped up within all those job postings. Still, please, 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 please consider all this a rumor, because regardless of possible circumstantial LinkedIn evidence, we still haven't heard anything official from Bethesda yet. So don't get your hypes up because you might just be responsible for getting yourself disappointed later on. I'm not responsible. I told you this is a rumor. Don't blame me, dog. Still though, there seems to be an odd amount of evidence surrounding this entire rumor, even if it's all mostly circumstantial. And one thing you can't dispute is how crazy excited the community got over this rumor within the first freaking day alone, clearly indicating there is a huge want and need for something like this. Yes, I think it, it surpasses into need now. So if this rumor ends up not being true, Bethesda, you may want to retcon that and reconsider that decision as not only will you be making some huge bank off this, but you're really, really, really be impressing your fans and making them happy times. Yay. Now, some of you may want to bring up a previous Todd Howard quote, one where Todd stated that he has no interest in doing remasters or remakes. Well, one thing I think a lot of people forgot about is that very same Todd Howard, the same exact one, twice as identical to the first Todd Howard, also said he has no interest whatsoever in doing multiplayer games. But lo and behold, here is Fallout 76, a game that Todd Howard has since said was a game he specifically wanted to make along with other devs over at Bethesda Game Studios. So clearly Todd Howard and friends are capable of changing their mind even drastically. So with that in mind, it's totally plausible that remasters could be a thing given that Fallout 76 exists. Also, the community brings up a very good point about game preservation and opening up older games to a new audience and younger generation of gamers. Remakes or even remasters are a great way of doing exactly that as by upgrading some of the technology and assets and accessibility behind a classic game like Morrowind or even Oblivion, for example, will no doubt make it much more accessible to younger gamers who didn't get to experience those games during their golden age. This not only does a great service to the community, but also at the same time to the games themselves, as these games will experience another revival of interest and playtime amongst the community worldwide. And there are so many good candidates for remakes or remasters that it does warrant an entire new Bethesda Dev Studio focusing entirely on remastering old games. I could literally just list stuff off all day. Daggerfall, Morrowind, Oblivion, s sorry, Arena, Dishonored, The Evil Within, Prey, Skyrim again, maybe the original Doom games, why not, Commander Keen, Arx Fatalis, and the list would just go on as older Bethesda games get outdated enough to warrant a remaster. And what could the studio be doing in the meantime when they aren't making a remaster? Easy, acting as a support studio on the other major Bethesda projects. It just works. So for all the reasons I broke down in this video, I cannot confirm this rumor is indeed legit. But I can confirm the community would go absolutely insane for this, and it would be a huge missed opportunity by Bethesda to not capitalize on this knowledge. They clearly can see the community wants this, but like always, the ball remains in their court. And as far as what my take is on all this, do I think this is all real? To be honest, I can't really say. I I don't know. I always try to boil my opinion down to a maybe it's real, maybe it's not real, but I really I really don't know here. It seems like some people other than myself also heard about this, and it seems like somewhere mixed into all this madness there is some shred of truth, but only time will tell, to be honest, and even if it is true, we probably wouldn't hear about it for quite some time. Either way, that finishes up everything I want to talk about in today's video. Let me know what you think about this rumor down in the comments below and what game you'd like, but Bethesda 2 Remastered.
faster. And as always, if you enjoy the content, be sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn notifications on. Only 10% of you have notifications on, so please go to my channel page and hit that notification bell. And also, YouTube has been randomly unsubscribing people, so please make sure you're still subscribed, even if you think you are already. And if you want to unlock unique and awesome awards and go above and beyond to support the channel and the community, you can support the channel over on Coffee, Patreon, or here on YouTube as an exclusive channel member. Links for all this and more are down in the description below, and as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to tune in next time when, sorry I didn't make a 25 minute clickbait video off of this. I'm not like some of those, uh, those articles out there. It, it just works.